Ah, well, let's build a Voron. Say, build stuff. When I first learned about Voron 3D printers about a year ago, I was intrigued but decided that the effort required to go through the build process was a little bit much for me. The seed was planted though and so recently I decided to take the plunge. Voron isn't a company selling 3D printers. Voron is an open source project to design a quote, no compromise 3D printer that was fun to assemble and a joy to use. You go to their website, download the instructions, bill of materials, CAD files, and get to work. As with any good open source project, the documentation is exhaustive and the community vibrant. They have a few different models to choose from. I chose to build the Mini Voron, the V0. I already have a large-ish build volume printer, my Ender 6, so I thought the little V0 would be a good complement to that. Your first step is to order all the hardware. This is straightforward thanks to their comprehensive bill of materials and sourcing guide, but somewhat of a daunting task due to the large number of individual parts to order. There are kits available, but the official recommendation from the community is to avoid the kits as there's not a standard for parts that are chosen for them. So you might come up with some, uh, you might end up with some you know, substandard electronic components that could be unsafe or not recommended for, for the kits. The 3D printed components need to be printed in ABS, ABS plus or ASA due to the high temperature requirements. I chose eSun ABS plus in black with white accents and have since gone back and added some Hatchbox red ABS parts just to add a little bit of color to it. Most of these parts are pretty quick and easy to print. I did have some minor cosmetic issues with some of the white parts that I went back and reprinted so that my printer would look nice. So of course here is my completed printer. There's still some work to do on it, but I like to show the finished product before you watch many videos of the build process so you can see what it is we're building. So let's get to work. So here's my box of parts. Um, this is uh, probably not an ideal way to work. You know what? We're gonna make it work. Pre-assembly uh, done on the print bed here. This part went together pretty nicely. Some of these screws are a little tricky to get the screws to line up with the nuts that are inside the rail on here. That's tricky, um, but this is uh, looking pretty good. Bag full of printed parts. 
separated sort of into uh, those are just for the frame and the or not the frame but the side panels and the top hat and these are all the other miscellaneous printed parts that have yet to be assembled uh, I kind of know which ones go uh, sort of where <laughs> so that's part of the project part of the fun hot end assembly in here and extruder let's see what else we got screws and bolts nuts washers these are uh, screws for the bed height I think I need those next more wire oh what's in this box it's <laughs> just like look at all this stuff this is electronics belts frame parts are in here probably having a you know a, a bin to sort would be a good idea I don't really plan on making a habit out of building printers like this so uh, having something that level of organization I'm thinking is you know not maybe not really worth the time we'll see as this as this build progresses raspberry pi here's my build plate i machine that myself wow really exciting part <laughs> pei spring steel build platform build bed so that'll be good to use on my laptop here i've got the instruction manual the assembly manual and the fusion 360 cad file up at the same time at least with the assembly of the bed uh support i found that to be pretty helpful to be able to you know see the uh, cad model as well as look at the assembly manual so next is the z motor assembly Flange bonnet bearing. Sometimes I like to wipe the oil off the outside of these parts when I work on them. I don't really want to get oil all over the place. A 20 tooth GT2 pulley. I'm guessing that's one of these. Z lead screw spacer. Where might I have one of the, oh, that was a printed part. Aha, Z lead screw spacer. So that all goes into a lead screw a bearing and you can see the direction of the flange. Aha. Uh -huh. Then the spacer. Then my 20T GT2 pulley. I need to loosen some set screws. There we go. I'm not gonna tighten any set screws yet until I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. Got my Loctite 242 blue loctite and some alcohol assembling this printer so far is really reminding me of um, when i used to assemble remote control helicopters which is why i actually have these hex keys l keys are great uh, for getting lots of torque and ball ends are great when you have little angles you can't quite get to but for accurate dimensional accuracy and reliable screwing of hex keys, hex screws, having some quality drivers like these, invaluable. These are from MIPonline.com. I think they're expensive, but you know, good tools generally are. So I really don't need much Loctite on these. Oh yeah.
print bed is now coupled to the Z motor. And uh, look at there, you can see it moving. I turn the shaft. Beautiful. That's so cool. Now I probably go back and tighten these things. <laughs>